Okay, so this is Windows 11 on Raspberry Pi 5, and this is currently running completely from an NVMe drive which is attached via PCIe, so we're getting much faster speeds. Now, it has to be said that it's much simpler to install to an SSD, a USB stick, or an SD card, but with a bit more perseverance, you can get it running pretty well on a Raspberry Pi 5. Now, the comments always come up about, uh, would you be better off just buying a mini PC for running Windows? Undoubtedly, yes. Uh, so these are pretty cheap and actually run Windows well because they're designed for them. And several things don't work on a Raspberry Pi 5. So we have no Bluetooth, we have no Wi-Fi, we have no onboard Ethernet, and we've got no GPU drivers. I'm using a USB Ethernet adapter to get internet. You can also use an Android phone. I've got a separate video on that. Uh, and I'm also using a USB sound card. But if you still want to run Windows on a Raspberry Pi 5, and it's got to be a compatible Raspberry Pi 5. I had a video recently talking about the 2 gig and 16 gig versions of Raspberry Pi 5. They don't work with Windows, only the 4 gig and 8 gig models work. And also the Compute Module 5 and the Raspberry Pi 500 also don't work with Windows at this stage. But if you still want to install it, let's go ahead with the tutorial. Okay, so I've got an SD card in here with a fresh copy of Raspberry Pi OS. And I've got an NVMe drive in here ready for Windows. First thing we're going to need is PyApps, so let's open the browser and type in PyApps. If you're using my KDE build, then it'll already have all of this. And if we scroll down to install instructions, you can see here wget this line. You need to copy that. Control Alt and T will open a terminal and let's paste that in. Okay, so it's as simple as that. Let's close down the browser, close down the terminal and you can see PyApps is on the screen, so let's launch that, and we just do execute. And in the bottom bit here, just type in Windows, and click on Windows Flasher. This makes this whole process so much easier. And install. If you haven't tried out PyApps, there are so many different things that are so easy to install and really, really useful for Raspberry Pi 5. Okay, so that's installed, we can close that. So now if we press the Windows key and press W, you can see WOR Flasher is there, so let's launch that. So it already defaults to this Windows 11 on a Raspberry Pi 5, so let's hit Next. I'm going to go for the UK version, and Next. It's already picked up my NVMe drive that's in there, so let's hit Next, and then Flash. Now this bit takes a while, so just let it do its thing, and when it's all finished it will let you know. Okay, so when you get this screen, it's all done. So we can now close this down. And I've tried this with the NVMe in the slot, but for the first step, I found it's much easier to do with the USB. So if we take the NVMe drive out, and I'm gonna pop it in this caddy. So this is just a USB adapter. Because if you do this with SD card or USB, you don't need any extra steps, but NVMe, you do need an extra step. So I'm going to plug that into USB 3. So now we're booting NVMe, but we're actually booting it via USB. So let's switch on, and you'll see that it will wake my monitor. I should have taken out the SD card. So let's shut that down. Eject the SD card, and then boot again. That's better. So when we get this spinning wheel, we know that the Windows installation has started. Okay, so you can see it gives us some options here. Windows 11 Pro, I'm going to leave it on that. Hit install, and this takes a while, just let it do its thing. Okay, so 86% getting there. Um, if you've had problems before now with it not being able to find the drive, it could be your NVMe drive is not supported by Pi 5. I've got a separate video that shows known working NVMe drives. There's a, a list of drives that definitely don't work on the Pi 5. So just make sure you've got one that's supported, like the Patriot one I'm using. Okay, installing the drivers. So it will reboot and then load Windows. Another reboot. Okay, nearly there. So this is the usual, select your region and keyboard. And I'm gonna skip a second keyboard. Now it doesn't find my internet at this time, but that doesn't matter. I need to press Shift and F10. And that gives us this terminal. And then click in the text box and in capitals O-O-B-E, backward slash, bypass, N-R-O, 
and enter and it will restart again and a bit more loading and we repeat those steps again and this time it gives us the option of I don't have internet so click that to continue installing and accept and just put a username in and create a password and next and some security questions so you can just put whatever you like in here and then obviously pick whichever you, you choose for this. And Windows is now running. But at the moment it's running from the USB drive so it's nowhere near as fast as if the drive was in here. So now let's open up the browser, do a search for UEFI Pi 5 and go to the GitHub and in the issues we're looking for one with uh, NVMe so here and there's some instructions here and a download. So this is the download. So you can see it's downloading that now. And if I open that up, and we'll just extract it here, and extract. So that's the four files we need. And the location they need to go in, we open up another window. So right click and File Explorer is this PC, Windows and Windows, System32 and Drivers. And you'll notice that if you try and copy these over, not all of them copy. So if I drag them over, replace the files in the destination, do this for all current items, continue, and you'll see that it won't do that bit. So we do try again, it just fails. So we'll hit cancel, but we have managed to get two files in there. Let's shut this down. Pop in our Raspberry Pi OS SD card and start up. So you can see it says Windows on my desktop. Let's double click that and we're going to go to Users, Lee PSP Video, or in your case, it will be your username you've created when you started Windows. Then Downloads and we'll grab those two files. So these are the two files that it didn't manage to copy. So let's hit copy and we'll go to Windows and Windows System32 and Drivers and we need to copy them into here. So just right click and paste and let's close this down. So I can eject the SD card from the Pi and I've got the NVMe drive actually directly connected now via PCIe, so much, much faster speeds. So let's power on, and we just press escape when it's booting up, and we get this menu. And if you go into Device Manager, Raspberry Pi Configuration, and you want to change PCIe Express to Gen 3, so it defaults on 2. I did actually play around with it on Speed 1 when I was having some trouble installing this before but it is working on speed three now. So let's quit out of that and just hit continue. So this is booting from the NVMe drive. Uh, the boot partition is on the NVMe drive as well. And you can see Windows is booted and I have internet. So if I log in, you see it's nice and swift. Now it's worth saying that it wasn't all plain sailing. Uh, this is my third attempt. The first attempt went really smoothly and everything worked and I didn't have any issues or errors. The second attempt I couldn't get to work at all. This is the third attempt and I kept getting this issue. Your device ran into a problem and needs to restart. When I had this problem it was only happening when it was in the M.2 slot inside the Pi. When it was inside the Caddy, the USB Oracle Caddy that I've got, didn't have a problem at all and you don't get this problem with SD card and you don't get it with normal USB sticks either but if you want the fast speeds it takes a bit more perseverance at least in my case I also got this issue and the thing that fixed it for me so you can see it says missing a file winload.efi I tried a few times restarting I would put it in the M.2 slot and then I would try it in the caddy and every time it was in the caddy it would work every time it was in the M.2 slot I'd either get this issue or I'd get this issue. And the thing that fixed this one was just pressing F8 for startup and starting in safe mode. And it started in safe mode first time, and then I shut it down, restarted it, and it's been working ever since. If I launch the web browser, 
And let's go for crystal disk mark, just to show how fast this is. Now while that's downloading, what you can do to speed things up is press the Windows key and type in performance. Adjust the appearance and performance of Windows and just do adjust for best performance and apply and OK. And then you'll find that it's just more snappy and responsive and definitely works better. We can see all the window snapping is working, but it's less fancy when it does the window snapping. Uh, you're finding it doesn't look as smooth or anything like that, but we're looking for performance here because we're running on a Raspberry Pi. If I press the Windows key and type about, we can see that we have 2.4 gigahertz. That's the Raspberry Pi processor. I'm using the four gig Pi. I thought it was the eight gig Pi in here, but it's the four gig Pi. Obviously it's worked. Uh, I would be better off on my eight gig Pi. So control it, delete, task manager, uh, and let's see how much RAM it's using. Yeah, three or four gig, and it's not even doing anything really, apart from downloading a file. It's obviously going to be doing loads of updates at the moment because it's a fresh install, but let's also do a change to startup. So startup apps, and just turn off things that you don't really use. So I don't need Edge to start up with the computer. I don't use OneDrive enough for it to start up straight away. And security notification, I'm going to leave that off as well. So let's try Crystal Disk Mark and see how fast this drive is. So let's hit all. Okay, so that's finished. So let's drag this up and I'll put underneath the difference in scores. So underneath I've got the NVMe Caddy I was using earlier on to help with the installation. And take a look at the difference in speed. So we went from 33.97 to 844. Uh, on the read speed and on the write speed we went from 34.16 to 805.19 so much 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 faster and that makes a huge difference to running windows so i'm going to let it do all of its updates because that will take a while and windows is awful when it's trying to update and if you want to see how windows runs on the raspberry pi i've got loads of other videos i've got a whole playlist i've got one for windows on raspberry pi 68 videos so showing the performance is 24H2, which is the same version of this, using a virtual graphics card, faster Chrome browser, all sorts of things in here. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks to BotSpot and everybody at the WR team for getting this to work. Hope all this helps. Please like and subscribe.